please consider joining us on our website. You'll have access to Interesting Minds, Rhyme Series, and a tutorial so you can see how I do it. I can't guarantee you'll figure it out, but I will teach you how I see people. Well, thanks, Don. Welcome, everybody. Uh, it's great to be here to mark this occasion with you all. I'd like to send a special welcome to Attorney General Barr, who we'll hear from in a moment. Well, Barr and Mr. Ray got together. Now, I don't trust Ray, and I don't completely trust Barr either. And I've already explained why I don't trust Ray, and I've already explained why I don't trust Barr. But for the moment, we're calling Barr an ally. And he comes over there. He has a limp. We don't get to see him walk too far, but he's still his normalness is there. It's very normal for him. So he thanks Barr for being there. The other thing that you should notice is that there is no extra underlying stress. It's just not there. The Ray before and the Ray after Barr coming to see him is the same Ray. And I want to thank the families here today. Uh, everybody in this room knows firsthand that our families are the support system that really makes law enforcement work. You help us make it through every day and you're home waiting for us when we come back at night. And thank you for being here and for all of your sacrifices and support. So you see him pause there after he said his spiel before he goes to the members. He does a little brain shirt to make sure that he got everything that he wanted to say in the thank yous. And he did. And so he goes into the next segment. No underlying stress. Normal Ray. And then we're going to skip through because that's all we're looking at is the dynamics between Ray and Barr. Here we go. According to our FBI records, when Bill Barr served as our nation's 77th attorney general back in the 90s. He keeps giving good eye contact and looks. He's actually turning his body towards Barr. He's not talking away from him. So that is a positive sign to the relationship. He never had the chance to attend a graduation here at the FBI Academy. So today, during his tenure as our 85th Attorney General, it's a great honor for us to welcome him to Quantico for a National Academy graduation. And that was the off thing. He kept looking down. It's a great honor for us to welcome him to the National blah, blah, blah graduation. He keeps looking down. So that tells me that's not why he's there. It also tells me Ray's personality before and after the meeting with Barr is no change in Ray's mindset towards Barr or anything else. There's no more uppity. There's no extra finesse. There's no extra super friendliness. It's the same. Mindset prior to mindset now is the same, Ray. Last month, you noted that during your first tenure as AG, forging a strong relationship with our state and local partners was essential to achieving our common mission. And as I'm confident that you've discovered that since coming back... And the lack of anything from Barr tells you this is the crux of the issue. It's feeding back into Ray. Let's skip to Barr's speech. To my friend, the Attorney General of the United States, Bill Barr. Nice firm handshake, polite hellos. Whatever was spoken about, they've come to a mutual understanding. Thank you very much. Thank you, Chris, uh, for your introduction and for your outstanding leadership of the world's preeminent investigative agency. As Chris said, and as most of you know, this I'm a two-time offender. This is my second stint as attorney general. And you see that tightness that came out of the mouth. Eh. There's stress in this job. My arrival this time was a little bit more eventful than I recall it being the last time. <laughs> as we've been watching the... Uh, the uh, coverage of June 6, 1944, D-Day, I had the thought that my arrival this time felt a little bit, I think, like jumping into San Marigliese on the morning of June 5th, trying to figure out where you could land without getting shot. <laughs> but it was a delight after I arrived to find the FBI in such good hands and to find such a great partner, partners in Chris and his leadership team at the Bureau. Now, this was the reason for his being there. And he's just announced it. I didn't know where to land without being shot. He's being very honest. It's actually quite open. It's surprising I haven't actually seen much talk on this whole arrival. 
and interaction between the two of them. So he goes into the thing of about being in such good hands, the FBI, and his mouth goes tight at the very end of that. The last time I was in the Department of Justice, I'd have to say that what made it was the greatest pleasure and pride for me was in fact the association with the FBI and the great men and women in our law enforcement community. And people ask me today, do I regret having come into the government? And the answer is a resounding no. And it's a no because once again, I have the opportunity to work with the outstanding men and women of the Bureau and our nation's law enforcement leaders. And again, he goes tight on that. So he's got questions in his mind, whatever. We don't know. We, we have no idea what has happened behind closed doors. We know that it has given Barr stress. We know from the interaction from the two of them that they have come up to some mutual non-confrontational agreement. It could be as mundane as who gets to sit on the left or right. We have no idea. We keep seeing his mouth go tight on it. When you put stress in the mouth to make it shut and keep those lips tight to keep it shut, because there's other things that you don't want to come out of your mouth, whether it actually be words or a coherent sentence or just a scream and frustration, that's that stressed mouth. And I guess from here on out, we're just going to have to watch and see if the FBI is truly blind to the justice or if we're going to see infighting. Who knows? If you like it, please share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.